What's up guys, this is Evan from Canyon, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use the RuneScape Autotyper by us. Now, in this video I'm going to be using Windows 7, and I'm not going to be making any more tutorials on how to use it for any other kind of system, but it's pretty much exactly the same. Like, if there's anything that I do in this video, it's going to be almost exactly the same in any other thing, like if you're using it in Mac OS X or on Linux, it's going to be the same. So the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously open up the RuneScape Autotyper by using whichever, however you installed it. And then you'll get this nice interface, just really simple. And you've got all your controls down here and some more up top and radio buttons and the message rate. Um, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a message that we want it to type over and over again. So the first thing I'm going to do is press add and then I'm going to type in buying oops buying fury 10 mil and we have the options for our colors down here the color that we want the text to be and then the options for our movements right now I'm just going to leave it plain and leave them both on none press add that's going to put it in this list box here and this is the list of whatever messages you have to type in down here is the message rate and this is how fast the messages get typed in, the amount of time between each message that gets typed in. You want to keep it on at least six or above if you don't want to get caught using it. And if you won't get banned for using it, but you may get muted if you if people can tell you're using it. So I usually keep it on eight and that's where it's at by default. And then the second thing you can see is top to bottom, bottom to top and random. We'll get into these later. So after you've got whatever you want to type in up there in the box, you're going to want to go ahead and open up RuneScape. I've already got it open because my internet's very slow and it would take a long time to load it on the video. And then I'll bring this up to the front and then after you've got that typed in, you're going to hit start. It's going to take the box down to your system tray and when you press start, then click on the RuneScape window once. And then hopefully after 8 seconds, it should pop up here. Yep, there it is. And it's going to go away, and then it should pop up again in another 8 seconds. Yep, there it is. After you're done having, um, just using the auto typer, um, just, min just maximize it from wherever it went to, and then it'll shut off automatically. And so that's how to start your messages. And a lot of times you're going to want to put in, have it say multiple things. So you can press, we're going to press add again, and this time we're going to say buy, buying blue party hat, and we'll just put in uh, one bill, <laughs> just because, brilliant. And on this one, we can change the color and the movement, and so I'm going to change it to green, and press add, and that's going to put that down there, and it's going to be the color green. And on then I'm going to select this top one here and press edit. In the edit menu you can change the text that you want to be up here, you can change the color that it is, and the movement. For this one I'm going to change the movement to scroll and press change, and it's going to change that so now it's going to scroll across the screen. And then down here you have these three radio buttons. Top to bottom it means that it's going to start up here at the top and go down, and once it reaches the bottom of the list it's going to go back up to the top bottom to top it's the same thing but just vice versa it's going to start at the bottom and go to the top and once it gets to the top it's going to go back down to the bottom and then random it's just what it says it's going to pick the ones at random so I'm going to put it on random for now actually it's just to top to bottom and then press start again and then click on the window and then wait for it and there we go buying fury 10 mil and then another eight seconds later it says buying blue party hat for one billion and then we can put it on random and it will just put them in at random I'm not going to actually do that though and that's pr pretty much the simplest things you can do another nice feature that we have is we can save um, after you've typed in a lot of things and you don't want to type it in like if you want to come back and use the same things later you can save whatever you've typed into a file. So we're going to go ahead and go up to File, Save, and then I'm going to save this to my desktop, and I'm going to name it 
buying buying script and press save now that's going to save a file to my desktop buying script rsats which stands for runescape autotyper script and if i ever want to come back and use what i have typed in right here i just open this file and it's going to come up so if i close the runescape autotyper and open up another window You can go to File, Open, or press Control O on Windows and Command O on Mac. You can go to Open, and then go to the place that I saved it at, which would be my desktop. And there it is, Buying Script RSATS. I can double click on it. Oops. And there's exactly what I typed in earlier, right there. And that's a really easy way to save whatever you've got typed in. And Another thing we can go to is the delete button down here. It's pretty much what it says. If you've got something typed in that you don't want to type in anymore, just press delete and it's going to get rid of it. Um, up here is the delete all button. If you've got a bunch of stuff typed in and you want to completely erase it without making a new file, you can press delete all and that's going to delete all the messages. Or you can go to file and press new, which is going to erase everything that you've got done just like the, the delete all button. But if you're using a file, it's going to make a new one and not save to that file. So I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel. And then lastly, in the help menu, we've got this about here. If you click on that, it's going to open up. And up here is going to give you a lot of information about it. It's just the website that it came from, which would be our website at canyon.us. The current known bugs, and in parentheses next to the bugs, it just says how important they are. There's no main there's no really bugs at all right now it's just kind of little trivial things and then the change log which tells you what's new in each version that we've released and it also tells you your version that you're running right now right here in the version thing and updates are at this time just completely automatic we're going to have something put in later where you can skip the updates check if you want but that's going to be released in a later version or maybe in the future if you're watching this it's already been released so that's how to use the RuneScape Autotyper. It's really easy, and I hope you have a good time using it.